G'day everyone, Sam here from FarmLab and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick demo of FarmLab Copilot which is our AI uh, summary tool uh, integration that gives you a quick uh, summary on uh, soil test results, plant test results and water test results, anything you've tested there in FarmLab. So we start here with what we call a sample results table which is a which just lists the results against the boundaries, uh, my results in FarmLab against the boundaries I have in FarmLab. It extracts that information and presents it in the table. It can color, color code results uh, if you wanted to, you just have to set up the parameters there. In my case, I just want to write a quick summary on this table and I want AI to extract the sort of the key bits of information to summarize it so I can provide a report to the client. Of course, I'll fact check that report before I send it out. So we start up here, top right hand corner, we can hit FarmLab Copilot, this funny little guy here, if I tap that, comes up with a prompt. Now this is important, uh, it's an experimental feature. It, uh, we send the data, we use ChatGBT um, or OpenAI to, uh, to analyze that data. Importantly, we're not sending any data outside of what you see in this table. And so uh, that's, um, that's important because we're not sharing any geolocations of soil test results, we're not sending any locations of farms. As long as the boundary names themselves, I've called mine boundary one, two, three, four, five, don't include that information. And as long as the soil test results don't include that information, it's relatively anonymous. Um, so that's that's important. That's important. And it's, it is a limitation because uh, ChatGBT and OpenAI doesn't know where the farm necessarily is, but that can be overcome on the next screen here. So the next screen is where we enter our prompt. We put a nice little summary in here. I'll hit OK and we can see see what pops out. Um, very basic. Basically, we're just asking it to to analyze these results and provide a recommendation for the landholder in less than 250 words. So that that'll now send this information, um, the information you can see in front of you in the table, to OpenAI, and we'll get this little summary back. So you can see here, relatively uh, straightforward, pretty pretty short and generic, but it pulls out some of the key bits of information. So boundary four has the highest levels of boron and chloride. Boundary three has high salinity. Organic carbon is highest in boundary five, so on and so forth. So now I can you know, manage accordingly. Um, a few things to note, uh, and a few things in our, our own uh, uh, R&D on the tool, is uh, it is important. The prompt is probably the most important part. So I'm just gonna go back, delete that original summary and go in and let's just say, for the sake of uh, argument, that I want something a bit more in depth for this farm. You know, I know my client, I know where my client is, so I'll provide the farm location, so I can get a better, more granular uh, response out of uh, ChatGPT. The other thing I also want to provide, I really want it to highlight. Um, you know, that uh, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm sampling here for uh, yield constraints, and so I've included a little statement here about yield constraints. I'm happy to go 400 words. I think that's digestible and and away we'll go in a second. So the key thing there is to, to structure these prompts really well. Um, you you know, this is this is all all about how to get a good outcome from AI. So it all comes down to structuring these prompts. So the first bit here, saying using the latest research for cropping systems, because this is a cropping system and that's what we're managing. Act as an agronomist. Now you could be a carbon developer, and the focus will be carbon. You could be acting as an environmentalist, uh, an ec ecologist, for example, and the focus to be ecology. So that's that's re relatively important. The uh, the last thing here is really getting you know what what do you want it want it to focus on? In this case, I want it to identify any yield constraints um, on the farm, so that I can get a quick quick summary on what those yield constraints might be without having to digest that report in front of me. So I'll hit OK here. That'll go away in process. And there we go. 10 seconds later, we get a nice little generated report. And you can see here that it's really started to pull out some of those key bits of information because I've, I've improved that prompt. So we've got soil texture, soil salinity, you know, quite high in some parts, nutrient availability, you know, that's, that's particularly important, uh, pH, uh, terms of you know what to look at and where and uh, and boron in our case and it's, we've also got a nice little summary here about what to do to address that you can replace that you can edit that as you wish so I might go in now I might say look uh, I care about this this first bit I'll now call this the farm summary 
remove that and I can go in and I can remove these final final few paragraphs, which, you know, in my client doesn't doesn't really care about because I've got some other mechanisms and other methods for my client to address that and I don't don't agree with that. So happy days. Next. Finish save. There's my summary. There's my traffic light table. And uh, and that's uh, an example of FarmLab Copilot. So we'll be continuing to improve this. And um, this is really just a, an initial beta concept uh, that you'll have access to relatively soon uh, with your soil test results in FarmLab. Thanks very much for listening. And please get in touch if you've got any questions and uh, want to give it a go. Cheers.